Hey friends! Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to my channel like always. Today's look is going to be this one right here. I'm going for a red carpet rocking rebel glam. Uh, super smoky eye and a badass hairstyle and you're good to go. I am partnering up with L'Oreal and Shoppers Drug Mart for this video. So if you guys are curious as to where I got the products from, I will have everything listed down below along with links and then you can of course also get all the products at your local Shoppers Drug Mart as well. I don't want the intro to be too long so let's get right into the tutorial. Tutorial. I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is it's slightly damp I mean it's I've washed it maybe like 20 minutes ago or whatever so I want to talk to you guys about the shampoo that I've been using actually shampoo and conditioner this is the L'Oreal extraordinary it's the extraordinary oil both conditioner and shampoo I'm going to show you guys how these look so they look like this I have the one that is for normal to very dry hair because you guys know I dye my hair like no tomorrow so I need something that's super moisturizing super hydrating and like I need my hair to feel soft even if I'm not styling or anything I don't like feeling coarse hair and I've used this a few times already I don't know if you guys can tell it smells First of all, super good. But I actually really like that the smell lingers in your hair. There's some shampoos that smell really nice, but they don't leave that, you know, that smell in your hair. I mean, I want my hair to smell fresh, especially if you blow dry it and stuff, it ends up smelling like burnt hair. So because I put a lot of product in my hair like throughout the week, I like to have shampoos that are weightless, like that aren't going to weigh my hair down, both shampoos and conditioners. And this shampoo, it takes all like the gunk out of my hair, but it's not stripped it doesn't feel like squeaky clean so it keeps soft if you're going to like a glamorous type of an event or if you know if you're trying to look glam clean hair is the way to go so the next step in the process of getting all glamorous and ready like red carpet ready is for sure face masks I think that prepping your skin before putting on makeup is probably the most important point because if your skin doesn't feel good if it's not hydrated your makeup isn't gonna go on well so I like to do masks either the night before or before I apply my makeup so L'Oreal came out with three pure clay masks there's this one here which is the red clay it has three mineral clays so so all of them have three mineral, mineral clays in them and then this is red algae so it's kind of like an orange tint and this one is for pore refining then we also have the brightening mask which is like a charcoal color this also has the three clays in it and then it also has charcoal so this is good for brightening and like just taking stuff out of your pores so I'm going to be using this along with the red clay mask as well and then the last one that they have is the mattifying mask you're meant to use these as multi masking masks so which if you guys don't know what that is that means that like you take certain masks and you put them in problem areas specific to what they need so like for example the pore refining one I'm going to be putting on my pores so on my nose my pores here and a little bit over here and then the brightening one I would put all over everywhere else sometimes you can mix all three sometimes two whatever you like for now I'm gonna start off with the pore refining one which is the orange one here I like applying these with brushes I feel like you get more of an even application just gonna apply this one because it's the pore refining one wherever my pores are honestly I don't have any other problems with pores except right here so I'm just gonna keep this mask here you know what I am gonna use the mattifying mask I'm gonna be using it right here and on my chin area so the thing that I love about these masks is that when you put them on and you take them off whatever you wash it off or whatever it leaves your skin feeling so smooth and soft it just feels like like every like all the imperfections have been pulled out of your skin which kind of makes sense because you're targeting the areas of your skin that you need to and then the last mask that I'm gonna go in with is the charcoal mask which is the brightening mask so you guys do you see how easy it is for me to apply the mask with a brush compared to finger it's actually such a big difference in the way that it applies and how even it is on your skin and also you don't waste a lot of product all right so now we just let these sit on our face I usually just let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes when I feel that all the parts are dry wash it off with lukewarm water and then be right back my skin does not feel dry whatsoever it actually feels smooth it feels like there's like a layer of moisture on my skin and that's what we need before we do makeup so if you guys are looking for good masks 
Go check those ones out because they're honestly amazing. So we're going to start off by priming. You guys have seen me use this primer before. It's the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base and it looks like this. It's basically a balm. It's super nice because it smooths all of your pores. I prefer balms rather than like the silicone type of primers because I like to feel it like going into my pores. For foundation today, I'm using my tried and true. You guys can tell that I used it a lot because I lost the lid and it looks like a mess. So just don't look at how dirty it is. But I'm using my L'Oreal Infla Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I love this foundation. It stays on all night. Honestly, it does, it like literally does not budge. And it looks like your skin, but better. Now I'm just going to tap this all on my face with my finger we're gonna start off with like three dots everywhere and then we can always build it up damn it I got it in my hair and then I'm gonna use a kabuki brush to blend it all out now you guys will be able to tell that this foundation is super full coverage you technically only need one layer but if you're going out and you know you want it to look super nice and clean you can always add more layers. All right, next, I'm super excited about this. So I'm gonna be going into the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, Total Cover. Now these are basically one, This it's a quad and it will help you color correct. If you look at the back, it actually shows you what each color is good for. So this is amazing because we know how expensive all the other color correcting quads quads can be. I do need this salmon color for under my eyes because my bags under my eyes are super dark and this will actually cover it nicely. I find that the best way to apply these is with your finger because it's warm and because this is a cream and I'm going to pat it under my eyes and I'm also going to go inside right here because that's where a lot of my darkness is as well. All right, so next for concealer, I'm going to be using the Pro Concealing and Contour Quad. Quad. I feel like I keep saying that wrong. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here and I'm gonna use that as concealer. Once again, I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm going to make a triangle shape as we normally would for our concealer. And honestly, I'm super excited that L'Oreal actually came out with these quads because you don't see them in drugstores a lot. Time to blend, blend, blend. I'm also gonna just blend it out to the top of my eyelids as well. Alright guys, well I apologize, I thought I was recording but I wasn't, but all I did was I took a darker color foundation in the L'Oreal Pro Matte and I contoured my temples over here and then also my um, contouring area and now I'm just going to go over it with some powder. I'm going to be using the Pro Contour Palette, it's a highlight and contour, I really like the contour shade here. Alright guys, so now it's time for the eyes and for the eyes I want to do a super dark smoky eye so we'll see how this turns out i'm going to be using the l'oreal color Wish pocket palette so this is once again a quad and this is in number 110 it's called silver couture when i think of a rocker type of look i really do think of these dark metal type of colors so they look like this and i'm going to swatch them on my fingers for you here i want to swatch them on camera for you so do you guys see how pigmented this is guys Super super pigment pigmented and all I did was one two and then I will go on my finger I mean on my hand here and that's them transferred onto my hand the way that they blend out there Look how pigmented they all are the best thing about this is that it's such a cute It's literally a pot. It's called pocket palette and it's called that for a reason You can take this anywhere with you and you're able to touch up or do someone else's makeup Even if you have to so we're gonna start off with our base Which is going to be number one which is this really pretty silver shadow and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers straight onto my eyelids watch the pigment Damn. Do you see this? We're going to go into the L'Oreal Nude Palette and we're going to go in with a transition shade. So I'm going to be using the mauve color that's in here. We're going to go in with this black color right here and I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush. And then we're going to put this in our outer V area right here. 
And then we're also gonna go in to the inner corner of our eye as well. So you don't have to be super clean with this. All we wanna do is sandwich that silver color in with the darker colors, and then we're going to just blend this out. Next, I'm going in with my uh, with the infallible eyeshadow in number 892, which is called Amber Rush, and I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corners. I know it looks like a mess right now, but I promise you it's gonna come together. So next, I'm gonna be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner. So this is a 16 hour eyeliner and it honestly does last 16 hours on your eye. I'm gonna be using this on my waterline to tight line and also a little bit of an eyeliner right above my lashes as well. I really like this eyeliner because every time I wear it, um, it actually doesn't really smudge. I wear contacts so my eyes tend to water a lot when I wear eyeliner in my waterline but I never have the issue with this eyeliner. It goes on nice and smoothly as well. You don't have to like tug at your eyes to get the product onto your eyelids. I'm quickly going to smoke out my lower lashes. I'm also going to put on some falsies to add a more, more dramatic effect and then some blush, highlight, and lip stain and we are basically good to go for the night. Alright guys, so I just did my hair and I finished up the rest of my makeup so I used the Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. Now if you guys haven't tried the Pro Matte Glosses, you need to. They are amazing. For highlight, I used the uh, True Match Lumi the Liquid Glow amazing. I think the hairstyle and the makeup look together look super badass and super rocking rebel-ish. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Once again, if you guys try the look, make sure you tag me because I would love to see your recreations and I will see you in my next video.